Welcome back, everyone, to our, our weekly series. This is week number three. Um, we're still in OC right now. The other Goodwills across the nation are going to have some really, really good content that's coming in. But we have some really, really, really cool things that came in today. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, let's get into it. All right, so we have here the Beatles Yellow Submarine in Lego form. Um, this piece is beautiful. Um, this was put together by Susie, who you will see in a minute, because she's been invited onto the show today. And, uh, wow. So you have all the Beatles. Comes with your box, right? Oh, 553 pieces Susie had to put together on that. So you have your four Beatles. So John, Paul, Ringo, and George. All right. Y'all were the Beatles from Liverpool. So, really cool collectible. You have the whole manual, so in case it does come apart, you can put it back together. Oh, look at that. So inside there, you got um, the, the Lego versions of them, and then this is the actual cartoon version of them. Pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever seen that Yellow Submarine. When I watched it, I was really little, and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I didn't understand it. Then I watched it again, I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Beatles Lego Submarine, that's gonna go up. And we'll probably take the picture just like that, you know? Um, obviously, it's probably not gonna stay together whenever it gets shipped, but it'll pretty much be together when we get it. All right, so here comes some really, really cool stuff. This was uh, our manager, America sent this Aww, us to us. Her. So we're gonna give her a little shout out there. Here we go. So we have, what is this? So we found these, every one of these tour pro programs is from 1980. So you have a queen program, you have a journey program, and you have the who. I was seven years old. So these, these when you went to the concert, these were big back in the day if you couldn't afford a t-shirt because this was a little less expensive. So what we did, was we put it with a Queen Greatest Hits and a Who Are You vinyl. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find a Journey vinyl, but we thought, hey, why not check out the photos while you're listening to some old vinyl, which last year, vinyl for the first time ever, outsold all other music formats. Okay, okay so we're gonna start with this stack. I'll have Ted flip them up. So I worked for Tower Records way back in the day in the music industry. This is an eight by 10 of Morrissey. This actually comes with a COA. I opened the frame. There is a COA in the back of it, certifying that that it is an authentic piece. Boom, boom. Your first picture is gonna have a picture of that COA and that in it. So that way you know that this is a real we have a Bill Cosby one. My father confused me. What must I do? What must I do? That's a record, right? Yes. That's a record. Comedy record. Comedy record in there. Next we have Sting, Sting from the police. And that record, what's this? The dream of the, what's that record? The dream of the what? Turtles. The dream the of the turtles. Dream of the blue turtles. The dream of the blue turtles. Okay, so this one is a special, this was just a maxi sig single. This is more for our industrial music, hardcore listeners. Uh, this is a Nitzer Ebb 12 inch single signed by the whole band. So this is one of those super up tempo wow. type of music. Next we have, now this one is also <laughs> interesting. This one also has a COA, Ted. Really? Yes, it does. Oh, nice. So this is the cast of All in the Family, from the 70s show. I watched that as a kid growing up. You got Sally Struthers, Rob Reiner on it, Carol O'Connor. Next, right. we have Tears for Fears, Songs Time from the Big, Big Chair. Chair, iconic 80 band, 80s band. Look at that hair. <laughs> All right. We have our man Johnny Depp 
Now we're kind of tying him into the music thing here because he plays in a band called Hollywood Vampires, which features Alice Cooper. Really? And let me tell you, I had a friend say, hey, let's go see this band. And I'm like, I'm, I'm okay with Alice Cooper, but I don't know who the rest of these people are. And I'm like, and you're telling me Johnny Depp can play guitar and sing? I'll tell you, the man can play and he can sing. I was very Some people are just born with everything, you know, looks. I mean, come on, you know. Some guys got all the luck, right? Now, this one is a little bit loose in the shadow box. It's going to need some TLC to reattach it. We have a Depeche Mode concert ticket and a signed drum head by members of Depeche Mode. That is so cool. Now, this one actually came with another piece. We're not... This is the other piece that it came with. We're going to put it up as separate just because I can't imagine you want would want this glass broken. And this is actually something that you can do on your own. Now on shoppeople.com you can request combined shipping, but sometimes we won't. Like I'm not going to put a bowling ball obviously with this because it's going to break. It's just, you know, that's just going to happen. The carrier cannot control that. So some, but we do most, mostly we do combined shipping. But on some things we won't, okay? And that's across the nation. So, we have... Dun, 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 so this one, Tim and I were going back and forth on trying to figure dun, 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 out dun, dun, who dun, dun, signed dun, dun, this. Dun, dun. And... George Lucas. We weren't sure. George Lucas. Until I opened it up and we found ah. this certificate. Look at that. This is cool. So it's a Star Wars record. Signed by George Lucas himself, the man, the myth. With the COA. The legend. All right. So I can just imagine George Lucas is signed this, right? Somebody bought it, right? And now we're selling it to help our mission. Actually, we got a booth at Star Wars Celebration for shopgoodwill.com. And Lucas himself went to the booth and was really fascinated with what we do on, sh on with Goodwill and, and all his collectibles, and he thought it was really cool that um, that we help, you know, that it's that that his brand is helping our mission. So, really cool. Thanks, George Lucas. All right. <laughs> Ted, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you Are you sure oh, you're ready? I'm ready. Be Be very careful. Guns and Roses slash. Here we go. Woo! Look at that. Look at that sign, certified, the certification's right here. Look at the, look at the neck on that. Very, oh, very clean. This thing is, I don't, nobody played this thing. This thing is beautiful. Oh my goodness. So what is this in here? What is this? We have some other So we have. Oh, we got a strap. Oh, this is the jester. These are picks, slash picks, not slash pick, but actually slash the guitar player face. <laughs> you got your amp, your amp cord. So when I looked up Slash's signature, all these guitars did not have the signature. When in my Google research from the signature, the year and this skull design, he only signed it and drew this artwork for guitars that he was donating for charity auctions. So how ironic is it that he did this? Somebody bought it from a charity auction and- Now redonated it. And redonated it. Absolutely spectacular. There's not a, there's not a scratch on this bad boy. All right, so we have Karina coming in here and uh, she's gonna show off some jewelry. How about that? Whoa. So this is a really nice, heavy, it's tested about 13 carats. It has oh. no markings, so we can't officially say that it's 14 carats but that's probably what it was supposed to be it has some precious stones it looks like blue spinal and rubellite and why don't you go ahead and open that up oh it opens yes that's the best part some comes out mm -hmm. it keeps on coming what is that for so we eventually figured out that this is to hold three little photos oh look at that that's amazing Definitely looks like a vintage piece, but we oh, couldn't so find a single it? marking on it, so we can't really tell much more about it. That's really cool. And the pieces that hold the photo we tested, they are also 14 karat gold. All right. 
14 karat gold. All right, so here we have a beautiful lot of alpaca jewelry, which our beloved Letty put together for us. We um, love Letty. We love Letty. <laughs> so all of this is alpaca jewelry, and I think all of it is from Mexico. Alpaca doesn't have anything to do with the animal. Alpaca is the term for this metal alloy, which is just a mix of nickel, copper, and zinc. It has almost no silver in it, maybe like 3%. And it always comes in this distinctive style where they use the mother of pearl inlay and brighter colors with formica. And so this is what we do whenever we find these pieces. We just put it together in a lot like this and just sell it all together like that. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in um, our shopgoodwill.com channel. Um, subscribe smash the like button leave some comments if you'd like to you know know anything about anything or if you want some if you have a particular uh nationwide goodwill you'd like to see uh promote their stuff they always like to see that and uh thank you thank you thank you so much for everything you guys do for the mission of uh goodwill thank you